Hello and welcome to Last Warrior channel into another iteration of Wave Function Collapse based procedurally generated city by Marian Kleinenberg. So uh, you have seen this before, maybe, if not then I will uh, tell you in a few words what it's all about. This city is endless. It's procedurally generated, which means that it's not entirely random, it follows certain rules, a set of rules that is determining which blocks can neighbor which other blocks, and obviously this is all pretty nice untextured, but uh, you have to realize that uh, this is uh, done by a busy person who is currently attending university, so there's a lot of other stuff to do. Wave function collapse is the algorithm name, which is used here, this is a 3D implementation of this algorithm, so it works on multiple levels, as you can see. We have kind of different floors, including interiors, which were added a bit later in the second uh, iteration. And now we have a little bit more, I think, sophisticated interiors, because I think if I'm not uh, missing anything, and then some objects inside weren't there before, and if you go in, you will see that the rooms are mostly empty, but sometimes you have rooms that are much bigger, like this one, for example. Pillars, uh, these sort of uh, lights, uh, which are well, not working, because there is no darkness here, but uh, yeah, some tables and stuff. And uh, I think it is pretty exciting, you can actually get lost pretty easily, but just in case you will get lost, you can just switch to uh, fly-by mode, it will teleport you on top and then you can uh, trigger it off. It works uh, with uh, M button on uh, your keyboard. Just like this. As you can see here, you can just press it again and you are back to the ground. The controls are specified on uh, the page where you can download this project and try it out for yourself. If you are going to do anything with it, you totally can. It is open sourced, uh, so the license is available on the GitHub page, which I will also link. And I'm sure Marian will be happy to check out your stuff, so feel free to share uh, if you will uh, end up creating something on the base of uh, this infinite town. Or, well, epic city, actually. Not just a mere town, certainly. Of course, you have to follow the terms of the license, and uh, I think it is pretty interesting indeed. The main addition of this update, though, are these trees. As you can see, they are modeled pretty well. They are actually also procedurally generated, and if you jump down here, you can see that uh, you have this. Uh, parts intersecting with each other, you have individual leaves and branches, and they are procedurally placed as well, so uh, they are placed in appropriate places, they are not uh, spawned inside of a building or something like that, so yeah, I think uh, it adds a lot of this lively green color, which makes uh, this uh, universally kind of bluish, greenish, white uh, tint uh, city, certainly much more alive now, it's a lot more interesting, and uh, with uh, some extra music, with some extra blocks, maybe with a better lighting system, it would feature something like uh, day and night cycle or weather effects, it would make a nice walking simulator, actually, for which I would definitely pay a few bucks on Steam. Feel free to share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. If you liked it, you know what to do. It always helps when you share it on the social media. I was Last of Huari, thanks for watching and see you later.